hi guys welcome back to my safe space kitchen so today I'm gonna be making shrimp powder shrimp powder is very popular in our homes especially if you're West African then you're using it for your soups for your stews your sauces and definitely for your shito if you're a Ghanaian so today I thought why not share how I make my shrimp powder with my food dehydrator if you want to learn how to make it stay tuned So here I have my shrimp. It has been deveined and it has been cleaned. If you have a shrimp that you know has the head and the gills and all that stuff on there, that is what I prefer. But I didn't have that, so I made do with what I what I have today. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply my um, homemade all-purpose seasoning. This stuff doesn't have salt in it, and so if you like to add salt, then you know that's fine. Um, you go ahead and add some salt. Um, I like my homemade seasoning because it has you know natural spices that also enhances the flavor of the shrimp and it's even it makes it even better and so that's why I prefer it so whatever seasoning you have go ahead and use it and it should be fine um, so here I'm gonna go ahead and steam my shrimp um, so that is simply all that I'm gonna be doing I'll just um, you know put it into my strainer and just set it on top of my hot water and just steam it so I check up on it um, about every minute or so just to make sure that it is steaming nicely I don't want it to be overcooked right so just pay attention to it and um, once you see that all of the shrimp has been steamed nicely then you are good to go so um, this is the color that I'm talking about like so then it is your sign that it is done so I go ahead and turn off my stove and then I'm gonna transfer this into a pot that you know has a little bit of space so you can throw this onto like a tray or even like your foil pan and just give it room to cool down um, completely you want to make sure it is cooled completely before um, you transfer it onto your food dehydrator so here all that I'm gonna be doing is just transferring my cold shrimp onto my food dehydrator and once it's um, lined up, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it all the way on, you know, to the highest temp and just let it dehydrate. So after 12 hours of dehydration, my shrimp is completely dehydrated and I'm going to go ahead and let it cool a little bit. But before that, I test it to make sure it is fully dehydrated. And as you can see, my shrimp is snapping and that is an indication that it is fully dehydrated. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer this into a bowl and let it cool a little bit, right? Um, one thing you don't want to do is um, right from the dehydrator, you go ahead and you grind it. Let it cool completely before you grind it if you grind it while there's still heat in it um, it might be it might get cakey quickly and you don't want that okay so here I'm gonna go ahead and in my grinder I'm gonna transfer my cooled shrimp into my grinder and I'm gonna go ahead and grind it And ladies and gentlemen, this is my shrimp powder. It is done. Once you finish grinding it, you're done. You don't need a grinder to grind your shrimp. If you have a blender, feel free to use your blender. Also, if you don't have a food dehydrator, your oven works fine. Just throw your um, shrimp in your oven at your lowest temperature and give it time to dehydrate and it will dehydrate perfectly. So um, I have a dehydrator so I like to use my dehydrator, you know, to, to show you guys the other option that you, you know, 
um, that's out there. But if you don't have a dehydrator, your oven works just as fine, your blender works just as fine. As a matter of fact, I have a video um, making shrimp powder in this same way, using my dehydrator, but using my blender to grind it on my Instagram page. So you can check that out at Safe Space Kitchen. But this is it, you guys. I am done. This shrimp powder can be used to season up food and also um, make shito. So you already know um, I will be making shito with my shrimp powder. No question. That's the Ghanaian in me. So yeah, it is what it is, right? <laughs> But yeah, thank you guys for watching this video today. I really appreciate your time. Thank you for stopping by. If this is your first time, this is my Safe Space Kitchen. I make cooking videos and I try to make it as fun as possible. Hit that subscribe button and help me grow my channel. I promise you, you would not regret it. And to my old subscribers, thank you all for coming back today. I really appreciate you. Until next time, you guys, I'll see you in my next video.